Moisture content refers to the amount of water contained in the material. Moisture content analysis is done to determine how dry or wet the material is. Methods used for moisture analysis in food industry include oven drying method, distillation methods, and chemical methods like calfisture titration method. In sugar industry laboratories, they prefer using oven drying method because it's cheap and less time consuming. Under oven drying method, the material is heated under carefully specified conditions and the loss of weight is taken as a measure of the moisture content of the sample. In this video, I am going to discuss how the moisture content of sugar, baggage and filter cake is analyzed in sugar industry laboratory. I will also discuss why it is essential to analyze moisture content of these materials. Requirements for moisture content analysis are number one, you have oven. Temperatures of this oven should be maintained between 105 to 110 degrees Celsius. Remember, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So, if this sample is heated at temperatures above 100, the moisture in this the in the moisture in this sample will make vapor and move upward. This oven should be well enclosed to ensure that the sample does not absorb moisture from the environment. It also it should also have a rotating fan whose function is to force out vapor coming from the sample. The second requirement is petri dish whose function is to hold sugar sample. Next we have tray. The function of the tray is to hold baggers or filter cake. Next we have samples and the first sample is sugar. Sugar is the final product after can, can processing picked at horizontal bucket elevator after drying in rotary dryer. Moisture content is one of the sugar quality parameters, hence this analysis is one of the key analysis of sugar. The next sample is bagasse. Bagasse is can residue leaving the last meal after juice extraction. Bagasse is a byproduct used as fuel in the boiler to generate electricity. So this bagasse should not be too wet or too dry. The next sample is filter cake. Filter cake is the residue that remain on the vacuum filter at juice treatment section after removing filtered juice. It's a byproduct used as manure in the farms. It's also important to determine moisture content of filter cake so that the operator knows if he is applying enough water to mud applied on, on vacuum filter. The next is weighing scale. Next, we have desiccator. The function of desiccator is to cool petri dish and sugar samples after drying. And finally, we have spatula. Below is the procedure for moisture analysis for sugar sample. First, dry petri dish in the oven at 105 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, then cool in the desiccator for 5 minutes. The reason why the, the petri dish is dried and cool is to remove moisture that might be on this dish. Next, weigh the petri dish, record this, this weight as W1 and add 10 grams of sugar sample. Record the weight of petri dish plus sample as W2. Put the sample and the petri dish in the oven to dry for 3 hours. After 3 hours, remove the sample and petri dish from the oven and cool in the desiccator for 5 minutes and weigh. Record the weight of the dish and dried sample as W3. Below is the procedure for moisture content of bagasse and filter cake. The procedure of bagasse is just the same as that of filter cake. Number one, weigh empty tray and add 100 grams of sample to this tray and spread evenly for efficient drying. Record the weight of tray and sample as W2. Put the tray having sample in the oven to dry for 3 hours. After 3 hours, remove the sample from the oven and weigh. Record this weight as W3. After getting the weight of tray or petri dish and sample before drying and the weight of tray or petri dish and sample after drying, the next step is to do calculation. So moisture content percent is equal to weight of evaporated moisture over weight of sample times 100. 
and the weight of evaporated moisture is equals to weight of tray and sample before drying that is W2 minus weight of tray and sample after drying that is W3. Below are examples that will enable us to understand more about moisture content calculation. So example 1, the weight of sugar sample and petri dish before drying is 10 grams and 2.61 grams respectively. While the weight of petri dish and sugar sample after drying is 12.637 grams. What is the moisture content of sugar? So that means the weight of sugar sample plus petri dish will be 10 grams plus 2.641 grams that will give us 12.641 grams so to get the weight of moisture in sugar you will take 12.641 grams minus 12.637 grams which is equal to 0.004 grams so percent moisture content will be 0 0.004 which is the weight of evaporated moisture over 10 which is the weight of weight sample times 100 percent is equals to 0.04 percent so that means the percent moisture content of a sugar sample is 0.04 percent example two the weight of bagasse and tray before drying is 315 grams and 100 grams respectively the weight of bagasse and tray after drying is 366. What is the, mo the percent moisture content of bagasse? That means the weight of bagasse plus tray before drying is 315 grams plus 100 grams is equal to 415 grams. So to get the weight of moisture in bagasse, you take 415 grams minus 366 grams, which is equal to 49 grams so this 49 grams is the weight of evaporated moisture from bagasse so to get percent moisture content is equal to 49 grams over 100 grams remember this 100 grams is the weight of of bagasse sample times 100 percent is equal to 49 percent so our percent moisture content of bagasse is 49 percent commercial sugar should have below 0.05 percent moisture content Moisture content above 0.05% leads to growth of microorganisms like yeast and molds. These microorganisms feed sugar and produce alcohol as the byproduct, hence deteriorate the quality of sugar. Moist sugar is also not suitable for packaging because the sugar crystals forms linkages with each other and leads to formation of lumps. In case moisture content of sugar is above 0.05%, the corrective measure is to check and adjust heat supply as well as temperature of rotary dryer. Sugar of moisture above 0.05% must be redried before packaging. Since bagasse is used as fuel in the boiler, its moisture content should be monitored closely to ensure that generation of electricity in the factory is not interrupted. Bagasse, as I said in one of my previous videos, Bagasse is burned in the boiler to produce heat energy. This heat energy is used to boil water to produce steam and this live steam is used to run turbine and as the turbine run it produces electricity to be used in the factory. Moisture content of bagasse affects its calorific value. Calorific value is the heat energy contained in a substance. Too much water lowers the calorific value of bagasse by absorbing heat produced by bagasse during compassion. So the suitable level of moisture content in bagasse is between 48 to 53 percent. Moisture content of a bagasse above 53 percent shows that too much water is being added to bagasse at meal 3 and the final meal is unable to squeeze the required amount of juice from bagasse. Moisture content below 47% shows that less water is added to bagasse at meal 3. This low moisture is an indicator of all loss through bagasse. Remember, as said in one of my previous videos, that water is added at, to bagasse at meal 3 to absorb and remove sugar remaining in bagasse. For efficient extraction of sucrose from mud, 17% of water should be sprayed on the mud. However, filter cake should have moisture content ranging between 
68% to 72%. Moisture content of filter cake above 72% shows that rotary vacuum filter is not absorbing dewies from mud efficiently, while moisture content below 68% shows that water being sprayed on mud is not enough. The effect of these two extremes is the loss of pole through filter cake. Moisture content of sugar, bagasse, and filter cake is directly related to pull of these products. If it's not controlled within the given critical limits, it can lead to deterioration of sugar produced as well as high losses of sucrose through bagasse and filter cake. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you have, or you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe at Ayako, the food scientist, so that we can move together in this journey of food science and technology.